It's been a couple years now, ever since the gent movement, as they call it, has kind of taken off and has produced some pretty great acts that a lot of metal fans know today. And those are acts that are notable, such as Periphery or Animals as Leaders, Chimp Spanner, just to name a few. But the question that, uh, that has come along with the success has been whether or not Gent is an actual style of music, or if it's just a sound, if it's just a style of music that's being played, if it's just the way in which it is, uh, it's kind of significantly easy to describe something that a musician is producing. So, here we are, we're asking the question, is Gent relevant, or is it ridiculous? We did one of these for new metal. It's been a while. I'm going to leave the link to that video. Check it out if you haven't already. So, firstly, let's examine the origins of Gent, which actually has origins a little bit further back than the enhancement of the genre and the recognition that it's gotten from, well, the media and everything, where these groups, whenever you speak their tongues, they're associated with the term. It's something that started in the 2000s, and it was mainly on online forums with musicians. And it was used also by one of the members of Meshuggah to kind of describe uh, the guitar tone or the overall tone of some of the band's work. Meshuggah, of course, one of the most influential bands, uh, at least in my book, one of the top ten. There's a video about that, too, that you should also see to see who else is on the list. But it, the influences, of course, now become even more prevalently clear due to this movement. This is a term that started to spread like wildfire on those online forums and the groups started to develop the sound a little bit based around uh, the Mishuga model or based around this the gent noise. Uh, and now with that it, uh, all being sort of done, we had a subgenre. Now, it wasn't something where the minute that these bands came out, it was immediately labeled as gent. It was immediately labeled as such. It was something that sort of spread, and the internet actually did its thing with that, and actually sort of ruled this into existence. It's not like some brainiac decided that they were going to just label all of these different bands by this terminology, and that was going to be that. This was, in fact, one that was very much homegrown. It's actually more of a spin-off of the progressive metal scene than anything else, even though the uh, style of gent that can be played can have some aggressive techniques that have some thrash influence or can have some death metal te uh, tendencies. Uh, you can see deathcore bands or metalcore bands that incorporate a little bit of the gent noise within their sound, or you can have groups that sort of make it a cornerstone of that idea. So once again... With history in mind, is this relevant, or is this a style of music that's absolutely ridiculous? Well, this is one, actually, that I kind of think is ridiculous. And it isn't because these bands don't have any sort of relevancy to them, because that's actually completely wrong. That's the opposite of true. Uh, the bands are definitely very relevant here at this time frame, and these are the groups that are actually going to uh, take in part, or in part, really influence the next generation of music. Or uh, These are groups that have made a lot of individuals who perhaps didn't think about considering music as an avenue uh, to pick up a guitar and try to write some music, and there's a very good chance that uh, the bands of tomorrow are going to be very highly influenced uh, by the gent bands of today. I find the idea, uh, or, or just the idea that we needed the subgenre for this, or just a label for it to be the ridiculous side of this coin, uh, uh, understandably so, this is a, an offshoot of various different styles of metal, which in turn should mean that it has its own formulation, but considering uh, the gent noise or the gent sound can be applied to just about any style of music makes it more of just a modifier than an actual genre, or in this case, a subgenre. Uh, this is instead a term that should be used to uh, continue to modify bands uh, with their core sound as opposed to being labeled as its own section of music. This is one where you're not going to see a gent section at a specialized metal shop, considering the debates that would spark based around that would be absolutely insane, not to mention would probably last forever. So once again, to kind of reiterate, the bands themselves and the movement itself, if you really want to call it a movement, which 
I think it has enough legs where it's qualified, is very relevant. But whenever it comes to the name itself and needing an entire subgenre dedicated to the bands of this category is kind of ridiculous. It's almost like deathcore. It's one of those things where it's the uh, combination of hardcore and deathcore which create a trademark sound, but it's something where deathcore could easily be applied to some other styles of music, but then you have thrashcore based around that. Either that or uh, there has not been any such thing as progcore as far as I've seen, but I could assume that that would be a transferable property. Uh, with gent, it's something where you say something is progressive and gent or progressive gent. Something is thrashy with gent uh, influences or thrash gent. It's something where it's death metal with gent or hell, if someone wants to make black metal and gent to make blood gent or Dalak metal, go right ahead and give it your all because that would certainly be interesting and extremely ridiculous. It's more of a modifier than anything else and it serves its purpose, but at the same time, uh, the whole entire idea is kind of silly. It really is, but uh, the movement musically is certainly one that has uh, a lot of importance considering these are groups that have uh, a lot of influential factor right now, especially whenever you consider uh, guitarists, especially whenever you consider uh, groups such as Animals as Leaders, which a lot of individuals, a lot of instrumentalists look up to. Uh, this is something that will influence things down the road and have more of a potent influence uh, on the future of metal than I think a lot of people really feel uh, is, uh, is going to happen. I think that this is going to have a lot more of an importance. Uh, than a lot of people initially have designated. To question the validity of the music or to question the validity of the name are two completely different things here. And the name, and Gent, is insane, but uh, the music itself is very real, not to mention some of it is actually pretty damn good. If you consider Animals as Leaders work, if you also consider some of the Chimp Spanner work, uh, as well as Periphery's last couple of albums really giving it their all, uh, these are groups that have uh, a dedicated fan base, and they are ones that will continue to mold it further. I really feel that the Gent name has really taken a shitty beating whenever it comes to social media and whenever it comes to the musical mainstream, or at least the heavy metal mainstream. It's almost, uh, in some circles, being used as a derogatory term, which it isn't. It's ridiculous, but it's not derogatory. Uh, these groups definitely have a lot to offer, and this is still a newer movement that's budding. And a lot of their, a lot of these groups are not even in that stride where they're producing perhaps even their best work. There's still a lot yet to come. So, before you go out and bash a gent band or something like that, listen to the music first, and well, then make your assumption. If you're doing it just based around the name sounding silly or just being ridiculous, which it is. Uh, then you're kind of missing the points. There's a lot of good music that's within the subsect, and it's really good music that's being used to modify an already larger blanket subgenre, such as progressive or death, as I've mentioned before. So this is something that's a modifier and a helper. Uh, this is not a style of music. It is ridiculous, but the music itself, very, very, very relevant.